Beautiful family, special greetings to everybody. My name is Quillis. I'm a gospel minister. Thank you so much for being part of this agenda. Don't die in abusive marriage. Please share this video. Let it go as far as possible because we are saving thousands of people, millions of people. Follow our page on Facebook and like the page in the name Quillis Music. And please go on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. God bless you so much for your comments. I'm so much grateful. This week, a renowned prophet of God sent me an audio about a revelation that the Lord showed to him concerning our late sister minister, Osinachi. I want us to listen attentively to this audio. And let's talk after that. I received this revelation. I was given the grace and energy in the range of the supernatural to travel to the house of this lady. I was in Osinaji's house. My eyes was opened in the supernatural. I began to see and I began to look. And I started to understand certain things in the realms of the spirit. The people of God and the people of this nation of Nigeria. Not these people shouldn't be disappointed when they, they hear a, a different story or a different news from whether the police or from the, the medical section. So the prophet of God says people shouldn't be disappointed or surprised if they hear something different, a different news from the side of the police or from the medical section. Please let's continue. Because what I saw in this revelation, I'm about to uncover something mysterious unto you. In the revelation, I saw this wonderful and beautiful woman of God, Osinachi, sitting. And I saw all the children, all the kids were also sitting by, by her side. And I saw her husband also sitting. In the realms of the supernatural, my eyes was open, and I saw that the man was happy. The children were happy. They were all smiling. They were all laughing. And the place was so powerful and beautiful moment, beautiful environment. But suddenly I heard, I heard another voice. So he said, the Lord showed him the house. In fact, in the spiritual realm, he entered into the house of the late minister of Sinachi. And he saw his uh, her children. He saw her husband, Mr. Peter Wanchuku. And he said the environment was good. They were happy, smiling, laughing. The children were laughing. The husband was laughing. Let's listen to what he said about the late minister. Was she also laughing? Let's listen to it. And that, that was the voice of Osinaji. And what Osinachi was saying, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. Why the family, the, the husband and the children were happy, they were happy and they were laughing. The, this lady was still sitting and shouting, I am tired. Did you hear it? Was the, 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 the man was happy. The children were happy. They were all laughing together. The late minister was saying, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. You see why we are preaching this thing? Don't die in abusive marriage. Not only women, men. Please don't be silent. Rise up. Speak about your problems. Don't die slowly. Let's listen to it. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. Mm. Then I came into myself. And I realized something, that there's something behind the curtains. There's something we need to know and we need to understand. Mm. So what actually happened? And what was going on? And what was the reason? He says he came to himself and he realized that there was something behind the curtain. There was something going on. What actually happened? That the late minister was saying, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. The husband was laughing, very happy, and the children were also happy. What was behind this? I am tired. I am tired. In fact, listening to all that went on, the circumstances surrounding her death, we all know that indeed she was tired. She was tired. She was tired. This thing will not happen again. It will not happen again. Because together, 
We are going to share this video. We are talking about this issue. Women will not die and leave their children. Men will not die and leave their children. Abusive marriage will not survive on the land. We are not just standing here. We are praying as well. Let's listen. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. So what was he doing? What was going on in her life? What was happening in her life? She said she was tired. But the family, the husband was happy sitting. The, the kids were they were all happy sitting and laughing. But this woman continuously shouting and emphasizing on this word that she was I'm tired. tired. I am tired. I am tired. The people of God, God has given us some women. We need to take good care of them. Women in Nigeria, women in Africa, women in every part, in Europe, in America, everywhere. We need to take good care of women. Some nations are perishing because they don't take good care of their women. We will continue this audio. He says, God Men, God has given us some women and we need to take care of them. Some nations are perishing because they don't take good care of their women. This was exactly what I was saying, talking about in my previous video about tradition. Tradition has given men power in Africa over women. And that is the truth. So I use you Idochi's case. As a, as a case study for other people, I never attacked him. I spoke the truth. And I am minding my business as well. This was on the social media. He brought it there. I picked it as an example for people. His wife has commented on, on, on her page on Instagram. It means she is aware of whatever everybody is saying. She watched my video. She has watched my video. And she thanked all of us. She said she's going through tough times. And she's so much grateful to everybody. Go and read what she said over there. So I am telling you that this issue, this program that we are talking about here, these issues, there are saving thousands of people. You have no idea. You have no idea. I spoke about tradition and people are saying so many things because tradition have given men power in Africa. It is not only women that are in abusive marriage. Men are also in abusive marriage. But the matter of the fact is that the women are many because the audience I have here, those who have shared their problems with me, very soon we'll be playing them one after the other. I have so many things on my desk and sometimes I don't even know what to talk about because... It is a very serious and critical issue. And most of the people are pressing me to bring it out. And we shall surely address it. It's not by my power. I have been assigned to do this thing. And these things will not happen again. I spoke about tradition. Tradition. It means the tra tra sorry, transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation. Transmission of customs. This is something in the old, in, in, the, in the past. And we are carrying it to 21st century. So I said that we have to leave some of the traditions behind. Making women vulnerable in the society. Now when the Bible talks about Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. And, and in that day seven women shall take hold of one man. Saying we will eat our own food. And wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by your name. To take away reproach. This scripture doesn't mean. Uh, this scripture is not endorsing polygamy. A woman who says she, she will buy her own apparel and buy her food. Is she poor? She's not poor. And these are people who are coming to, to rule men. I am telling you, this prophecy, it does not uh, confirm polygamy. A man is somebody who cares about his family. Somebody who cares about the society. Somebody who wants the people in his country to do well. It is not somebody who believes and subscribes to polygamy. That is not what it's called a great man. So don't, don't twist it at all. Anytime women cannot give birth, it is, it is women. Anytime, sorry, couples cannot give birth, it is the women's fault. It is the women's fault. And men are not being checked. We will speak about these things. God bless you so much.